Hey guys, today we talk about the Air Jordan Retro 5 Premium in the Bordeaux colorway. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Cut Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. The sneaker you've all been waiting for, the Air Jordan Retro 5 Premium in the Bordeaux colorway. Man, oh man, these sneakers right here are expensive as hell. 400 bucks, yeah, but this is my birthday month, so I decided to splurge, but anyways, guys, Guys, let's get straight into the sneaker review. So I know everybody has seen an Air Jordan 5, but I like this sneaker in particular because of one, the quality, two, the nice Bordeaux colorway that makes the sneaker look premium, and the nice elegant touch that they did with the perforations on the tongue of the sneaker, and also the lateral, and also the medial portions of the sneaker. But anyways guys, looking on the inside of it, you'll notice that it has a nice creamy looking color on the inside, much like peanut butter, and it's a nice quality leather. You can see that on the tongue and on the interior of the sneaker as well. You'll also know that the insole has that nice peanut butter leather as well. And in addition to that, it's a nice supple leather throughout the top of the sneaker. You'll notice the Air Jordan demarcations at the top of the tongue of the sneaker and also the heel of the sneaker and both of these particular insignias are embossed. At the tongue of the sneakers, like I stated before, you'll notice that there are perforations where you would usually see the netting of the traditional Air Jordan 5. You also notice that that is located on the medial portion of the sneaker as well as the lateral portion of the sneakers. All in all, a dope sneaker in general to me. It looks nice. Of course, we all know it's overpriced, but again, it was my birthday month. I decided to splurge a little bit and get this one. In particular, out of the four of these particular premium Air Jordan 5s that came out. I like this one the most given the colorway and also the uniqueness of this particular style when it comes to the Air Jordan 5. Another nice detail that you'll notice with this particular sneaker is that on the midsole and also the outsole of the sneaker, you'll see that burgundy, but a nice touch of leather is noted on the lateral, the heel, and the medial portion of the sneakers. And that is usually different when it comes to Air Jordans in general. You don't particularly see this type of material welded to the midsole of the sneaker. And then all in all, I thought that was a nice touch to this Air Jordan 5. Sizing wise, I went with a size 13, or actually, no, I take that back. This is actually a size 12 and a half and I found this on end clothing. And if you guys don't know already, the size 12 and a half when it comes to Air Jordan 5s is very hard to come by. And luckily I was able to find these bad boys on end clothing and get 12.5. I could fit a size 13, but 12.5 is my you know best fitting size when it comes to the Air Jordan 5s. You could possibly go up half a size, but I would say go true to size when it comes to these Air Jordan 5 premium sneakers. Casa question of the day people, what would you do if these sneakers were 200 bucks? Would you cop these sneakers? Would they be worthy of copying? Let me know down in the comment section below and let's talk about it, people. Hey guys, so my sneaker talk is up for today. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you got a little bit of quick information from me today, feel free to hit that notification for the one time. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching my video and I'll see you all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces. Thank you